Today we're going to be going to Habitat for Humanity. I am on the hunt for a few more furniture pieces for the Left Coast Flea Market, which I'm going to be doing at the Portland Expo Center July 15th and 16th. I had some incredible luck the other day at a different Habitat location. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I will show you everything I got there the other day. But now we're going to be headed to their other location and I am crossing my fingers that we're going to find a few furniture pieces. I'm specifically looking for tables and end tables, coffee tables, nightstands, anything that's kind of mid-sized so that it's easy to unload at the flea market. And of course, I'm going to hit the Goodwill location that is nearby because I've always got to find things to bring it to my online vintage shop and of course to decorate my home with. So let's get thrifting. I haven't been to this Habitat for Humanity location in a few months, it feels like. I think the last time I was here, I found the wooden monk for only $6 and I ended up selling it for $750. And that's not the first time I found a really valuable item here at this habitat. This is one of my favorite stores to visit in Oregon. But today I'm on the hunt specifically for furniture for the flea market. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, but typically I just know when I see something. I'm not just looking for anything to fill space. I'm open to all eras as long as I feel like it's going to look good with my eclectic bohemian style. We might have a winner here. Rustic and very primitive looking furniture pieces are becoming very popular to mix in with modern elements. This one looks perfectly aged and it's still sturdy and in good enough condition. They've got $55 on it. I was kind of thinking it was only going to be $20. I'm a little surprised at the $55, but I still think that that's enough margins for me, especially because we're getting down to the wire here and I need more furniture to fill the space. I still think that leaves enough room for pretty decent margins. I also think this antique table would work really well with my style. I don't typically pick up pieces quite like this, but I think that I could make this work. They've got $45 on it and I just did a quick Google search and it looks like this could be valued at at least a hundred. It needs a little wood oil on it, but I think this is going to style up really nice at the flea market. I feel like if you took the skirts off of these couches and you put some little mid-century modern legs on them, they could actually be pretty cute. I'm not looking to haul these two big couches to the market, but I do think somebody could do a little bit of a DIY on these and they could be very modernized. I'll pop in a picture of a couch that I did that to once. I took the skirt off of it and added little wooden legs and I ended up selling it for $400. It looked so much worse with the skirt on it before. So if you are on a budget for a furniture piece for your house, don't forget that you can slightly modify things. I love this plant stand. This is perfect because I have several other plant stands that I got over the last few days that I'll show you later in the video. And I'm gonna modify those a little bit, but this one's in perfect condition the way it is. It's always good to layer things when you're setting up a flea market space. So popping in random plant stands throughout your space can really add a lot of elevation and different layers. And this is gonna be perfect, it's $35. Here's a little glimpse in my studio of kind of what I'm going to go for for this flea market. I want a very fun and eclectic bohemian style for the market and I think both of these are going to work great for it.
Next up, we are gonna stop at Goodwill and we're gonna look for a handful of things to take to the market, but also for my online vintage shop so that all of you can shop these finds too. This is a pretty handmade studio pottery bowl. It's really large. This would actually be a really good size for serving a salad in. It is $6.99 and it does have a little artist signature here on the back. These are kind of fun. They're salt and pepper shakers, obviously, and they're $2.99 each, and they are by the brand Lennox. I don't think these are incredibly valuable, but I think they're really sleek and beautiful, and for $6 for the pair, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get them. They probably are only worth around $20 to maybe $25, so I think I'll probably bring them to the flea market, but yeah, I like them. I think they're really cool, and I've actually never come across this set before. The other thing I'm looking for for the flea market are lampshades. I'm gonna have two eight foot tables, so 16 feet full of lamps. I'm so excited to show you how that turns out. It's basically gonna be a wall full of lamps. They're not all gonna have lampshades because lampshades are so specific to the individual person, but I wanna at least have a handful of them with some really nice vintage lampshades. And I'm also gonna get this really simple neutral one because I know I have a lot of lamps that this would look good on. This one's only $3.99. Pretty sure that this is a piano bench, but I love the stacked edges on the outside legs. This would make a really nice small bench in an entryway so that you could sit down and take your shoes off. This is the exact kind of furniture I was on the hunt for today. Things that people can actually pick up and take and fit into their car. I'm also going to get this little napkin holder. I like the shape on it. It is only $2.99. I picked up one of these in a bright yellow earlier this year and made quite a bit of money on it. These do sell for a lot. Unfortunately, as I was picking this up and looking at it, I noticed that there was a crack in it. It is $7.99. It's always such a bummer when you see a crack, especially when you get excited about something. So this didn't end up having a price tag on it, but I got it for $4.99. I'm pretty sure it was probably originally a piano bench based on the size, but I think it would make such a beautiful entry bench or even a plant stand if you had three or four different potted plants on it. I just really love this stacked edge and it's a beautiful piece. I'm gonna wood oil that baby up and it's coming to the flea market. The nice thing about living five minutes away from my parents' house is I can easily borrow their pickup truck so I've got the truck and I'm gonna head back to Habitat for Humanity and pick up all of the furniture pieces. I just came back to pick up the furniture that I didn't get yesterday. And look, there are new rugs that they put out. I wonder if these got donated together with the other one. This one is gorgeous. We're gonna get this one for sure. This one's really long. It looks like a runner and it's marked at only $15. So excited. These are gonna be perfect for the flea market. I think I'm also gonna get this table. It's only $35. The chairs are sold separately. It's really simple and it'd be great for display at the market. It's in really good shape too. I think that would sell really well. Yeah, we're gonna do it. 
I also stopped by one more Goodwill and I found some really great things. I don't know who the maker is on these cups, but I love them so much. They're black and white. And I found a set of six of them on an end cap. But when you find something that you love in a store and you don't have a complete set, don't forget to go and look on all of the shelves because I ended up finding the other two on a different shelf down in the glass aisle. So now I have a complete set of eight. I was just saying the other day to Jesse that I wanted to get a few outdoor chairs that were a little bit nicer than our vintage folding chairs. These are $6.99 each and there are four of them. That's a pretty darn good deal and these are going to be perfect for in our backyard. And here is a gorgeous marble topped table. The base is incredibly heavy. It's a very good quality made one. And it looks like they even had a glass top on top of the marble to protect it. It is only $14.99. This is a heck of a deal at only $14.99. I'm super excited. This is perfect to take to the market. Here's another pedestal plant stand. This one's only $7.99. It needs to be painted for sure, but I really think that I can make this look pretty cool. This is a fun piece of art. It's a portrait and it's signed on the back. So I know it's a handmade piece. The problem is it's $24.99. Do you think I should get it? That's a really high price for this Goodwill. I actually have never seen them price something that high before in the picture frame aisle. I'm going to put it in the cart and think about it. I almost walked past this incredible mid-century lamp. At first, I didn't realize that that was a gazelle leaping across the front of it. I did a really quick Google image search on this, and it looks like this might be my find of the day. They've got it priced at $19.99. This is going in the cart and coming to the flea. What is going on with all of the plant stand pillars? I found another one over here for only $9.99. I think I've got myself a DIY project coming up. Here are my Habitat for Humanity finds from the other day. The first thing I spotted were these Ethan Allen chairs. They have a very Paul Macabre look to them, except they have more traditional legs in the front. They're $25 each, but Ethan Allen chairs do sell for a lot. They're looking a little thirsty, so I'm going to put a little bit of wood oil on them, and I really feel like this is a good investment. They're nice, they're solid, they're designer, and I think I can probably sell this set for $250. The lady who worked here had just brought this out from the back. And as soon as I saw the backside of it, I was like, how much is that rug? <laughs> and she said, it's $120. And I said, done, I'll take it. For a rug this size, that's a really good deal. And it's in really good condition. It just needs a little washing. It's got really beautiful colors with the dark blue and the rosy color. I'm going to have so many rugs for sale at the flea market. It's so funny because I feel like rugs for me are usually really hard to find. But lately, I've been coming across them so easily it's weird i've also got a bunch of goodies tucked away here in the bottom of the cart and i will pull these out and show them to you when we get back home arches have been trending for quite a while so i feel like this might be a hot piece the color on it's not that great it has a very 1970s look that some people might not like i'm not going to paint it because i don't typically paint solid wood furniture especially when it's in good condition like this one but i'm hoping that i can take it to the market and somebody could see the potential and what this could be if they're wanting a painted look or maybe somebody's going to love it just as it is. Either way, it's a really good piece to bring to the flea market because it's got two layers. I can style up things on the bottom shelf and also the top shelf. Okay, my heart skipped a beat. Now I know a lot of you are not going to see what I see in this couch. You're going to say, what? You're picking up that 80s lumpy leather couch? And the answer is absolutely. I love vintage Italian leather couches. I don't have one in my house because my husband is not a fan at all. But I secretly wish that I could have a couch like this in my house. As you can see, they can be quite valuable. And this looks almost identical to this one I found online for four. 4500 for both pieces. I'm not expecting to get anywhere near that for this, but it's only $50 because after my buys from the other day, I already have a $15 credit. They had 65 on it. I'm getting it for 50 and I think I can get a couple hundred out of it. I can't be the only one that's into oversized lumpy leather sofas. I'm so proud of myself. I loaded and strapped all of this furniture down and I made it home without anything falling out of the truck. 
All right, you guys want some real life behind the scenes. Oh my goodness, what a mess. So this is my breezeway. I'm sure you probably remember when it looked all beautiful, staged and full of plants. Right now it's a hot mess because I'm getting ready for the left coast flea. And this is the best area for me to pull everything out and price it. I didn't want to do it at my office because when you're doing a flea market, you work around the clock and I just didn't want to be at the office all the time. I wanted to be able to take breaks and play with my cats in the backyard. And so I picked the breezeway. So what I've been doing is just pulling out box by box, thing by thing, washing it, pricing it, and then reboxing it and packaging it so that it is ready to go. The day of the flea market, everything's just going to get unloaded and displayed. And so I've got to have everything completely ready to go. Here's a couple of the things that I just picked up today when I was out. I got this beautiful studio pottery bowl and it was $6.99, which was a little steep, but I think it's a really beautiful one and it's a nice large size. And then I don't know if this is vintage or not, but I thought it was a really cool design. And this one was $2.99. It's a nice napkin holder. And then I got these Lennox salt and pepper shakers for $2.99 each. These are nice and heavy duty. That was a really good deal. I got stuff everywhere. I've been taking breaks, sitting down, and then I've been standing, pricing, washing. I've got a bunch of shoes to get priced and cleaned up. Whenever I have leather boots that don't have good laces, if they're good quality leather boots, I always invest in a new pair of shoelaces. It makes a huge difference when you're selling them. You don't want to have really tattered up laces. Some people love to have that vintage worn look on the boots, but nobody wants frayed shoelaces. So I always have extra of those on hand. Yeah, I've got leather bags. And then over here, some clothes. I actually already have four or five giant Ikea tote bags like these full of clothes that are already priced. So I think I'm going to have three or four clothing racks. This stack right here still need to go through and price. And then I've got a bunch of those bags already to the shop. I've got some wool blankets. I've got rugs, 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 pillows, textiles, all kinds of things and some art. And this is the rug I got at Habitat for Humanity. Can you believe it? It's so big. It's probably going to be the last thing I take care of because once I get all of this stuff out of here, I'm going to give it a wash and a good cleaning. This teak table has really grown on me. I've actually been really enjoying it out here in this space um, using it to price things on and I don't need it because I really do still like our concrete table but if it doesn't sell at the flea market I might take the top off and take my concrete top and put it on the teak base to see how that looks but I am going to try to sell it together as a set so hopefully somebody buys that at the flea it's a really really pretty table I love it this is the one from Habitat from Humanity that I just picked up and I got this one at Goodwill about a week ago. It is in such good condition and these spindle legs are so popular right now. They are so popular. So I think that's gonna sell quick. And this one too, because it's just in really good condition. I mean, it's like it's brand new, but it's not. This is why I love getting things secondhand. They're so much better built. Look how cute my little buddy is. Hi, baby. <laughs> We're just hanging out in the breezeway and I think I'm going to get started on these four pillar plant stands. I love that they're all a little bit different in size, whether it's the height or the shape or even the fact that these two have kind of that ribbed design. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. I'm going to do a mixed matched color palette. So I really do want to display them all together or at least maybe three of them together. And so I'm going to do kind of a cream, a taupe, and then a little bit more of a grayish brown and see how they turn out but I really think that once these all are painted and the colors all go good together that I'm hoping they're gonna look awesome once I put some plants on them at the market. Do you want to say hi to everybody who haven't been on camera in a while? I bet you miss it. Well, I wanted to show you these chairs. So these are the ones from Goodwill. And this is kind of where I have them in mind. Please don't mind our dead grass. We are intentionally not watering it. We're taking care of it because this is eventually going to become a stone patio. And so we're just kind of letting that go and trying to just maintain the stuff out there. But anyways, 
I have this picnic table that was given to me from a family member that didn't need it anymore and it's a really nice size and I'm gonna paint this and I haven't decided what color. It's kind of like a brick red, it's just really dirty. But I'm thinking of doing it black. I don't know, let me know what you think I should do. I kinda wanna keep things pretty neutral out here and let the patterns on the fabric speak for themselves. These chairs were only $6.99 each and they're gonna be perfect for this little picnic table, which kind of floats around like we're always constantly like moving it from a space to a different space. It's kind of our casual table whenever we don't wanna set up a formal dining outside and we're just hanging out here in the backyard, maybe barbecuing or just doing something simple. So I like how casual this is. I just need to get that painted. I'm leaning towards black. Black. I don't know, maybe, what about a dark green, a forest green? Could that be cool to kind of blend in with the greenery? Uh, I don't know, that might be too much. Let me know what you think I should do for the color for the picnic table. I almost always have some kind of a tablecloth on it. I have several of them that I use and they usually have patterns. So keep that in mind. Maybe a fun color would be cool. Here are some of the items that I got at Goodwill and Habitat for Humanity. I'm just kind of laying everything out right now, going through figuring out what I'm gonna sell on the website and what I'm gonna take to the flea market. And then I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and priced and boxed up and ready to go to the flea. This metal bowl was $4.99 at Goodwill and I love the organic shape to it. So I thought that'd be a fun one to bring to the market. I got this at Habitat for Humanity and I thought it looked really cool and very brutal. List. I don't know if it's old, but it's a really neat piece. And I'm actually thinking that I'm gonna keep this for in my living room on one of my bookshelves. And I'm gonna put all of the keys and locks that Jesse and I have been collecting on our travels. I've been wanting to have them displayed some way and I wasn't sure how I was gonna do that. But I thought it'd be really cool if I just have this resting on a stack of books and then I just have it piled full of the keys and the locks that we pick up. We're like the opposite of most people. Most people leave their locks on gates and bridges and whatnot when they travel. Instead, Jesse and I buy them at flea markets. Let's see, I also got this at Habitat. It was $3, it's vintage, and it came with a plate. And I think that's like a soup bowl size. It's pretty big to be a coffee mug, although you could put a big old cappuccino in that. A wooden spoon and a rustic wooden bowl. Those are gonna go to the flea market. And then this little guy was $3.99, which was a little bit expensive, but I just thought it was cute. I liked his stripes. And then I ended up getting these glasses at Habitat for a dollar a piece. And the reason I picked them up was because I liked the shape on these that I found first at Goodwill. I'm obsessed with these. I haven't looked these up yet, but they were $1.99 each and they're beautiful frosted glass. Even the black bases are matte. I think they are so beautiful and I love pieces like this because these could work with farmhouse style. If you had kind of, you know, a rustic with black and white, I think that would look amazing, but you could also have this in a very very modernist setting. So I love those. I'm very excited and I got a whole set of eight of them. And then I picked up this set because I thought it'd be cute for when I'm styling up little bathroom countertop vignettes. It was $4 at Habitat and it was made in Italy. It's a nice little shaving set. I just thought that'd look really cute for staging. And I also got another thing from Italy. This was stamped, I think Florence on the back. Yeah, so this is genuine Florence leather. I love the way that the cover is angled like that and it's got a little snap. And there were no notes written in the notebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that to the flea market too for somebody who's looking for a notebook. It was $2.99. Here's the downside. Goodwill always sticks their tags on the front of everything and it's ruining the leather, but I think that I can get that out with a little bit of leather polish. So I'm gonna go ahead and oil up the whole thing very carefully so I don't get any oil on the paper on the inside. I picked this up. It was $24.99 at Goodwill, which is honestly a lot. I almost walked away from it, I think twice. I think I put it back and then I grabbed it and then I put it back. But in the end, she ended up coming home with me. The color blue kind of sold me on it. It's really unique because somebody actually made this out of vinyl, like flooring vinyl, I think. Doesn't that look like flooring vinyl? I think that's what it is. I'm pretty positive, which is a very clever way to repurpose something into art. I mean, 
mean, think about it. You probably have little scraps of vinyl when you're doing a floor and there's not much you can do with a couple pieces or a couple ends, but look at how somebody repurposed that. I think that's very clever. On the back, it says Sarah, so that's Sarah, and then it's by that person. I don't know, does that say G Campbell? G Campbell? I think so, and then that looks like a GC logo there. I'll look up G Campbell and see if I can find out anything on this artist. Yeah, it was $24.99, but again, I just, I just loved it. And I think that this is something that I can resell because it is a signed original piece of art, maybe for $40 to $50. I'm sure someone else will appreciate it as much as I do. And then I got a set of little Polish cups with their saucers, their handmade in Poland. And then it didn't have the little sugar dish, but it did have the little cream dish. So I got that too. So I got all three of those. And and then I picked this up at Goodwill because I don't know, I'm into miniature things right now. I'm, miniature things are having a moment, I think. It was only a dollar for both pieces. And I just thought this was really cute. Obviously, if that was a real full-size chair, I would have snagged it in a second. And then I got this sculpture for $4.99 at Goodwill. I thought that was kind of fun. Somebody's gonna love it. And then these, I'm not positive if these are new or if these are vintage. They look vintage, but the fact that there were two of them made me think maybe they weren't. I don't know. That's doesn't look mass produced by Target. It's got pink paint. That's the giveaway. Either way, they're beautiful. And I think they were only, yeah, $1.99 each. So I thought that was a really good price. Hopefully they're vintage. I think they are. And I got an Oregon Myrtlewood set. You know, I love my Oregon Myrtlewood. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of this brass. Um, it looks very traditional. I even thought about taking these little jars off and just selling them as a set of three jars just to modernize the set a little bit. They also came with the little spoons. I do think I'll go ahead and keep it together just because it's always good to keep things together. And I also got myself a dress. I like to wear little lightweight dresses and stuff in my backyard when I'm gardening, but I like to wear things that I don't have to worry about if I get them messy or dirty. So obviously that means Goodwill. And it was $12.99 and it's a world market dress. It's a really thin, lightweight cotton. So I thought that'd be good on really hot days. And then I got this to take to the flea market because bold patterns are so in right now. And so is 80s clothing and this one's in really good condition it's got the high neck with the little wrap around and the buttons in the back and it was $7.99 but it was half off which is the reason that I got it so it was only four dollars I also got this now this is actually a sewing basket I think because it's got a little pin cushion thing right there but I also thought that this would be really cute for a little picnic if you just wanted to take a couple sandwiches and some strawberries and blueberries so um, since the market is during the summertime I thought it'd be fun to bring some summer themed things and this was six dollars and 99 cents mm, That was actually kind of a lot I just realized I think I paid too much for that because I think it's only worth maybe 20 to 24 dollars Whatever it's cute. It looks like summer. I think somebody's gonna like it Thank you so much for joining me on today's thrifting adventures. Can you believe all of the awesome stuff that I found over the last week? I am so excited for the Left Coast Flea. I know so many of you are coming out to say hi and to shop the hundreds of vendors that are going to be indoors and outdoors at this amazing event. Hopefully I will see you there at the market and you can purchase your tickets ahead of time to make it even easier. I will put the link in the description below. Have a wonderful day and I will see all of you in the next adventure.